is Whiskey Alpha 3, United Sugar, Germany, WA3OSG. Name is Dick. We are located in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Roger, roger, Dick. Uh, and uh, tell me about your antenna system for about 10 to 15 seconds. Antenna system is a 40-meter uh, dipole and running about, oh, running about 400 watts right now. Uh, over. Roger, looking at your audio signal on a spectrum analyzer, and it, it looks really good. You've got uh, a nice curve going there, a uh, uh, good top end and a good bottom end, so uh, <laughs> Sally Forth. Uh, thank you. This is my, I just opened up and installed a uh, high LPR 781. I was using a, uh, a uh, different, I was using an old studio mic that I've been using for the last 10 years that uses a, uh, a microphone preamp. It uh, was a condenser mic and it really could sound good, but it was, it was a little bit peaky. And uh, I decided to get something that I did not need the preamp for. Over. Oh, Roger. Uh, dynamic mic, is, that's one of the best dynamic mics that I've heard. Usually, the case is that when you uh, switch mics from a condenser mic to a dynamic mic, uh, there will be a severe top-end frequency response uh, uh, difference. Uh, uh, the uh, the condenser mic has usually a much more articulated uh, top end than the uh, dynamic mic. Uh, so when you switch mics and you go to a dynamic from a, uh, a condenser mic, usually you have to uh, play a little catch up with the top end EQ to get uh, back to uh, where you were with the uh, condenser mic. Roger? Uh, that is a Roger. I, I've, I've been using that mic for 10 years. I'm using a Flex uh, 6600. And I, I was able to turn on the uh, uh, second or the second uh, uh, receiver, basically, and actually listen to my signal and watch it on the waterfall. And I tweaked the uh, the uh, equalizer to give me a pretty nice spread. And uh, boy, I tuned here. I was going to just ask if somebody could give me an audio report. And uh, uh, real, I, I just happened to be at the right place at the right time, Jim. Over. <laughs> roger, roger, Dick. Well, you know, we've uh, spent about three years perfecting our uh, recording uh, mechanism to where we can fairly well capture as best as can be uh, transmissions. Uh, we run a very low uh, front-end RF level out of out of compression, so we have no uh, band noise suck-up, and uh, we run in antenna attenuate, so we have no uh, overload possibilities, or, or, you know, so have to give me an 80 over to uh, uh, to uh, break up and uh, so then uh, we run on in and right now uh, I'm copying your signal on a, uh, a 70 icon 7300 uh, which uh, in the filter one position, which is no filter at all. Filter one is the least uh, e equalization as far as roll-offs is concerned. Uh, so it's uh, as flat as, as possible. And the uh, the ICOM 7300 is very flat uh, down to the uh, bottom bottom end, low frequencies, Roger. Uh, that's a Roger. I'm, I'm looking at you on the waterfall, and you you also have really nice a nice spread of uh, frequencies, and with and, and and you've got just highs a little bit accented, I guess, when uh, not the highs, the lows, and I I really like uh, a, a signal with some lows in it. So, but uh, boy, this is great. I uh, just kind of curious uh, with the with the preamp. Sometimes I'll be cleaning things, and I accidentally bump the preamp up, and then I'd end up having a terrible signal for a while, and. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm really glad I'm, I'm without it now. So, Jim, thank you very much for the check. And I know there's some other guys in here who uh, want your expertise, so I'll let you go. And, hey, I'll, I'll listen on, on your Facebook, uh, not your Facebook, your uh, 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 YouTube uh, site also. Thank you very much for the check, my friend. KC9VKV, WA3USG. Roger, Roger, Dick, three's that way, sir. And, uh, you know, we are running a, a, a homebrew condenser microphone uh, through an art uh, preamp. And um, the uh, gain control for the art preamp, uh, we're about uh, 10 dB below maximum capability as far as the uh, gain set on the uh, uh, on the uh, preamp. So what we do, uh, whenever we wonder about if we're close to having some RF in the AF, we just uh, bump that uh, 
preempt gain control all the way up and uh, take a look at what's happening uh, 10 dB above uh, normal gain. And if everything is still copacetic at uh, that level, the 10 dB above normal operating level, we assume that we don't have any uh, uh, RF and the AF problem, Roger. Oh, that's a Roger, and, and I would do something similar to that to myself uh, at times, and uh, it just seemed that it would be, it, it would be just kind of unpredictable, and I found that when, especially on 160 meters, when it would rain a little bit, or when it get wet, the antenna would get wet, the SWR would go up, and I'd get a little, uh, I'd get a little uh, RF in with the audio, and it was, with the preamp in there, it was really hard to keep it out, and and it was getting old, too. I had a, a single tube in it. It worked very well. I mean, at times I have really good audio. Most of the time I did. But I just wanted to get something that I could take that one extra variable out of the uh, audio chain. So, uh, 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 again, uh, uh, Jim, thanks for your efforts. And, uh, boy, I, uh, I'm glad my audio is good. I, I, there's, nothing, there's not too much to adjust here. Over. Roger, yes, yeah, so we have somebody trying to tune up, I guess. Uh, the frequency is in use. Please uh, go up three or down three or somewhere else other than an active uh, frequency to do your tune-up. And uh, Dick, uh, like I say, uh, you know, uh, go to that YouTube and uh, bring up your audio. I think you'll, you'll really love it, Roger. I will definitely do that, and uh, I really like the microphone. One final thing, this microphone, I do have to run the uh, uh, microphone input up to about 80%, maybe about 85%. And I'm looking at my uh, my uh, I'm looking at my uh, compression or my ALC, and it's it's hitting no more than two thirds of the way up. And uh, I'm also looking at my uh, audio output level, and I'm not bumping into the red at all. So uh, 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 that, I guess the, uh, the well without a preamp, it's a lot less output. And I guess uh, a dynamic mic uh, has generally less output anyway. So over. Uh, that's a that's a Roger, and uh, you know your ALC is your Bible, uh, and uh, just always uh, when you switch mics, uh, go to your ALC and double check uh, that ALC, uh, because obviously when you, s you just switched mics, you had a very large uh, excursion of signal level, and when you have that, then you have to go back and set your and that's what you did, uh, go back and set your mic level, and and the way you know obviously that you set the mic level is in reference to your ALC. ALC. The actual number of gain on the mic itself is is not uh, really relevant. The thing is your relationship of mic gain to uh, your ALC meter gain or your ALC display. And uh, you want to adjust your mic gain to where your ALC is running mid-scale to two-thirds. If you have that running, you're doing perfect. Roger, Roger, and yeah, that, and that's and that's something that uh, I've always really kept an eye on is the ALC to make sure you know to, to, to minimize the overdrive and uh, really just keep a nice quality signal. So very good. I man, I'm uh, glad I was. I turned the radio on when I did. I had been out all day. I I just got home and I looked at the uh, uh, at the front porch and there was a box sitting on with the a microphone in it and uh, the the. Uh, uh, microphone cable, and I am running unbalanced. Uh, uh, I am running, uh, I'm sorry, I'm running a balanced microphone uh, input also, uh, 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 Jim. So we'll catch you later, and uh, uh, it sounds like somebody's getting a little impatient back there. KC9 VKV, WA3OSG. Roger, Roger, Dick, three's that way, sir. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, join us next uh, Friday. We'd love to uh, hear from you and see how you've been doing, what you've been doing, who you've been talking to. So uh, three's for now. Uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. We're rapidly approaching becoming a pumpkin. We have only a short period of time if there would be somebody that wanted an air check before we wrapped up uh, very quickly. KC9 VKV listening.